What's up Mopar fam? As you can probably guess by the thumbnail picture, we have long tubes for Project Storm. Project Storm is gonna be a little less stock. As you guys know, we have the Torque Storm supercharger on it, but the truck is basically bone stock. It's got cats, it's got the stock headers and everything on it still. So we have long tube headers from Texas Speed and Performance. And these are their brand new headers that they just came out with for the Hemi platform for the ramps. So we're gonna unbox them, we're gonna check them out, and stay tuned for the install video because I know everybody's gonna wanna know, do they fit, is there issues, is it a pain? Well, stay tuned and we'll find out. All right, so this is the box we received. Big Texas Speed and Performance logo on the side. And these are the stainless steel two inch primary long tube headers for the Ram platform. Now these are a great deal, if you ask me, um, when you're shopping around for headers. For the longest time, um, you know, the best deal or the best bang for the buck has always been JBA headers. And that is what is currently on my truck that we call Frostbite Ram, which is the white one that we race all the time. And I have the JBA inch and seven eighths long tube headers on my truck Frostbite. Now these two, now these long tubes are two inch primaries and that is awesome. And for the money, headers themselves are going to run you right around $700 and the JBAs you know back in the day I haven't priced a set of those in a while but I know I paid I want to say close to $600 for my JBAs which were ceramic coated um, you know years ago so this is a pretty good deal for two inch primaries um, and now we're going to kind of get one out we're going to go over some of the craftsmanship here and the work and the first thing I'm gonna say, with me having JBA, and now I have a pair of the Texas Speed and Performance long tubes in my hand, these are definitely a little bit better quality for sure. For the money, um, the ports are smoothed out a lot better than the JBAs came, that's for sure. Port job here and welding definitely looks a lot better. Um, than the JBAs came. That's my opinion. Now I'm not knocking the JBAs. They're on my truck Frostbite and they have gave me zero issues. There is some that has had a lot of problems with them, but I'm not one of them. And there's a lot of other people that hasn't had any problems with, JB, with JBAs either. Um, but first thing to note is that these are very well machined. You know, they're ready to go. Um, there's no burrs in here very smooth um, I'm gonna give that a, a huge big thumbs up for the money that you're getting for two inch primaries um, out of the box you know for headers it's less than a grand that's that's pretty dope um, I'm gonna go inside here so that's the inside here uh, very clean nice weld job on the inside the tubes look very you know very straight they're not crushed or anything so another good thumbs up there for me uh, each tube has a o2 bung already welded in so that's one less thing you got to worry about already got an o2 bung on each one um, the other thing is so far um, the tubes seem to be pretty you know pretty tight and solid no rattling that i can tell of yet um, I did have on my JBAs, I had my driver's side one time, they were actually uh, pulling spark knock on the launch back when I used to run nitrous and I found that one of my uh, tubes on my JBA was actually causing a rattle and it was causing my, my uh, knock sensor to pull timing and uh, 
after we kind of took a pry bar and corrected that, bent some clearance there, that problem went away. But there's no rattling in these tubes so far. Um, time will tell. You know, you got to get them on. You got to get them hot. Let things expand or whatever. But so far, guys, out of the box, these things are pretty dope for the money. Let's check out the other one. See if we got the same quality going on over here. Um, so here is... This is going to be the driver's driver side header. Um, flange looks nice and flat. They got it smoothed out really nice on all of these ports again. Um, definitely spend, you know, they definitely spend a little bit more time on the, the smoothing out part and making everything even and equal than the JBAs, that's for sure. Um, so I'm gonna definitely give them the thumbs up there uh, for the money. And like I said, hard to beat two inch primaries also. Um, I'm gonna have him hold it here. We're gonna beat on these things. No rattling. Again, time will tell. You gotta get things hot and let them start kind of changing shape a little bit or whatever. But so far guys, these things are really dope. Uh, good welds up here on the tubes, everything. Uh, O2 bong welded in. Look inside this one real quick. And again, this one looks just like the other one. Welded up real nice. The tubes aren't crushed inside. Um, very solid. I don't, you know, I don't foresee these things causing any noises or rattles. So we're gonna see. Yeah. There you go. So far out of the box, I think these headers are pretty dope. Uh, for the money, it's hard to beat, you know, $700 for two inch uh, primary tubes, stainless. That's hard to beat, you know, a lot of these really high dollar headers are way over $1,000. Um, and these are definitely going to give uh, people a, a, a lot bigger option to go with uh, to possibly get a quality header that is, you know, a lot more budget friendly. Um, like again the jbas has always been the best bang for the buck um, but sometimes quality control on those things are kind of hit or miss um, a lot of people's had great luck some not so much i've had great luck with mine but these really have me interested and i'm really considering maybe getting a set of these for frostbite as well um, so again stay tuned for the install video i'm gonna get these things hooked up uh, we plan on doing a full exhaust on this kind of like what frostbite's running uh, this truck will still have cats but we're going to do like high flow converters on it um, into an x pipe most likely with the carnage performance mufflers that are the same ones on frostbite so the truck's going to sound a lot different that's for sure and these should add some serious torque and a little bit more horsepower especially with the torque storm supercharger on there we should be able to get the exhaust out of this engine a lot better with these long tubes. Um, so stay tuned. Install video coming soon. As always, guys, stay safe out there. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up. Also, put a comment down there what you think of the headers so far. I'm liking them. So we'll see. Video coming soon. We'll see you on the next one.